Well, some of my early, early memories is coming here when I was just a, more about uh, seven or eight years old. And um, my mother bought me some shark skin pants. And then I walked, we walked, I had to walk to church, and my daddy and myself walked. And you could hear them shark skin. <laughs> daddy said, what you, what's that doing? I said, that's a pants. Yeah, it's all right. But anyway, we come here and the, and, and the old church, you, if, if you t attended Sunday school, they had wires across to, in, the, in the church where you could pull the wires and the she sheets and have classes meet in, in, in the, that way because you didn't have, that's, that's the only way you had, didn't have individual places for different classes to meet at the time. And and then then we after while we were while they were building this building here, but it would go back to the old building. One thing I remember about this is Mr. Robert Miller, when they'd have a funeral, somebody died, the old church bell. He would ring, 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 ring for about 15 or 20 minutes and then get everybody's attention in the neighborhood. And then he'd stop. And then he'd say, if the, if the funeral was gonna be at three o'clock, he'd ring, and then ring, and ring. That tells people that the church is going, that the funeral's gonna be at three o'clock. Because back then, we didn't have no phones, they, phones or nothing like that. This, this was back in the in the early, early 30s, early 30s. But anyway, when, when as we said, they've been talked about it. When this, this, we tore down the old building. Well, during, during, in the old building, the old building, we'd have a revival, a revival. And my, my mother always, to bring a plank, a blanket or something like that, and they put it down in the there. And if, if you got tired of a little kid, we'd have to lay on a blanket, you know, until the preacher came. Back then, they'd preach maybe, uh, you know, they didn't preach no 15 minute sermon. And most of them, more like an hour. But uh, that, 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 but then while they were building this, building this there, we, we had help church up at, at the auditorium in the school, at the school, all during that time, too. which is probably, I don't know whether you can do it that, something like that today or not, I doubt it. But then that, that, was, that was the very thing, and we had great services up there, great services. And I can remember when, when they have a revival that, and the people who, Especially there was one of Miss Head. Miss Head, she would pray the, the all oh, Madam Head. She did pray to heaven down, and and and, and then that. I mean, usually we usually have after baptism, it'd be at least ten or fifteen people that accept Jesus Christ, and I was one of them. But I can never remember. I, I was baptized in the creek down there on Bavers Creek, and there's a Rogers hole. And uh, I remember walking in, walking in, you had everybody's holding hands, walking in, and then they baptize you, and you just get to come on back out. And nothing like that. And I've, I've, I've been here, I've been here, I've, I had to go in the service in '49. That's when, during during the World War II, and I was for for a time for a period of time in the, in the early '50s and like that. I wasn't I wasn't here. We, the wife and I moved back here in in '61, and then we we began attending church back here at church, and, I, and I've been we've been. Been here ever since. I've been here ever since, and uh, there's nothing like 
My dad, my dad, he, he, he led the singing here, led the singing here for years and years. He, he, looked, he was a good singer, and, and which I love to sing. I love good singing too. I love good preaching too. But I think a good song service sets the tone for preaching. I firmly, firmly believe that. And there's nothing like you getting your heart right, you know, getting ready for the good preacher. We used to have Bible school during the daytime. And usually, usually, usually when the crops were all laid by, because uh, everybody, when my in my growing up, I I worked in the fields all the time, and uh, when the crops were laid by, then we could we could come and have Bible school, and then uh, I remember that uh, usually at, at little after we would have a little playtime play period, and us boys we'd have a have a, some horseshoes, and we'd pitch horseshoes. And uh, I never will forget, I was pitching out there, and, I, and somebody hollered, and this boy was standing over the side, and I pitched, and, and as I was left, the horse, he would go, he'd run into it, and he'd go upside of the head. I never will forget that. Thought, I thought sure it hurt him real bad, but he, he, he survived. <laughs> and, and they had the old, old well out here. Everybody congregated there, draw water, and, you know, and, and set them, they had a cover over it, and sit and sit there and draw water and talk and be there and things like that. The mules in the wagon, well, they always they they they, they you you either walked if you had a mule in the wagon you could you they they'd bring you to church and then they'd they'd pull up to a tree and they'd tie them down. I, I never will forget the the, the reeds. They, they had this one place that they tied theirs down. And for some reason or another, they got loose and they took off, and 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 and, and they they just went, they went across by themselves, went on and went on and went went right up to the to their house, right up to the barn out there, and that's when they, that's where they found them right there. They had to walk, but they they found them right at the barn. Well, I I think that this is definitely he's got he's got a a job for this church to do. And and I think as a whole, most of the time we've they've fulfilled that that job that he set out for them to do. And that is to get in get people in, get in him and get involved in in church and get them to where they're and one of the God's people, and there's nothing like that. Having a good, a good, good church family, there's nothing, nothing any better than having a good church family, except maybe your own, your own immediate family. But there's nothing like a good church family, where everybody loves one another and helps one another. And it's always, Always been with the custom here when people had had problems here. I can remember that this this, this fellow he he made a crop made a crop and he got sick and we we went and gathered his corn and everything and you you do things like that. They'd have a uh, back then most houses were, were have had the, uh, wooden shingles. Angles. And you'd have maybe the house start leaking, and they'd have a, a day for us to come in, and the people would come in, and, and the women would come in and cook, cook dinner for them. They'd get up there and shingle them that person's house. And that's, that's the kind of family, kind of this, this area here. That's, that's, that's what I like about it. There's nothing like, nothing like a good church service, and nothing like being, uh, having a good, a revival where you you can feel the, the word of Lord speaking to you. My my, there's nothing like that. 
That's, that's what we need. Is, I have good heaven sent revival. Everybody needs. We need revived heaven.